will give the Oilers a better chance to get in the playoffs. Ready to go. This puck drop is brought to you by Simpson Chevrolet underway between the Kings and the Oilers. Ryan Nugent Hopkins speeds it behind the net. Bjornfoot gets there for the Kings. They look for a way out. A clearing attempt cut off. Nugent Hopkins to the front. Blocked away by Peterson. And over top of the net. Nugent Hopkins to the back. Bouchard across to McDavid. One-timer save. Peterson. He was going across to his right, but the shot came to his left. Be sure you're getting in position. The Kings overplayed a couple of situations there. Now, there's one of the best chances of McDavid. Dreisaitl. Handles to the half wall. Dreisaitl moves in. And again, a shot in tight, and he misses. 240 left in the double minor. Harvey in front, but doesn't get through clean. McDavid. A minute to go on the power play. Hands it off to Nugent Hopkins. Down the middle. A glove save by Peters. Dreisaitl gliding in down the right side. Bouchard touch pass to McDavid in the circle. McDavid didn't get the shot cleanly away. Nugent Hopkins collects for the half wall. Harassed by Ayafalo. McDavid to Dreisaitl. Shot it off the outside of the net. In downtown Los Angeles. Byfield. Nice pass out of the zone. Connects with Roy on the rush. Brown. Right side. Shot. Pull off by Smith. Lands in the corner. Brown battles against William Lagasson. Since January 1st, leading the team in point scoring. This line at 5-on-5, five five, 12 goals for, 3 goals against. The puck came to the middle, bounced over a couple of sticks. Vogel turns the corner, enters with Nugent Hopkins. A shot off a stick, looking for the loose puck. Got it to goal. Second bid went wide. Peterson had to track that puck as it was pinballing down the slot. Gallion in tight quarters against Fogel and Bouchard. Lemieux, rather, Lazat poked the puck free. Lemieux to the front. Kaliev scores! What a shift from this line! Arthur Kaliev with the finish off the pass from Brendan Lemieux. But what they'll do is this. They'll just say all the little... He, that's the second time that he really mucked it up along the boards. He worked hard. He wasn't a shooter. He wasn't involved. And now look at this. He finds himself in a high position... And then watch the redirection. There's not much there, right? And look at Mike Smith. The goaltender is really lost. So 22 seconds left on the Lagasin minor. As we begin period number two. Mr. Brown is going to take a penalty. He can stay control off the neutralized faceoff. Kopitar riding a five-game point streak entering the night. Turnover, neutral ice, Foley Arby with the intercept. McDavid drives to the net. Stop by Peterson, rebound! Waved off! The officials are getting together. They're going to huddle up and try to come up with a decision. There's the turnover. Now you come back, watch McDavid do his work. Body, lean, protect, go to one side, can't get the finish there. Can't get the finish there. He gets help. Pooley Arby's in the crease. Is he going to be pushed and shoved into the goaltender? Does it hit Peterson? Is it over? <laughs> that, we can't see it over the line there. So there's something that you would have to consider here with Pugliarvi. Watch 13 here. He's going to go after a puck. It's a loose puck. Puck's out of the crease now. There he's pushed and shoved into the goaltender. Is the puck over the line? They've just ruled that there's a goal on the ice. You, can't, you can't see the puck over the line. That's, that's the other thing here. They need to determine what... Oh, what a chaotic sequence. And the game is tied. 1-1. Here's Kopitar. Shut down by Smith. A little swagger on the glove save from Mike Smith to deny Anze Kopitar. He certainly did. And you see right here, quick on the backhand pass by Kempe. Doesn't waste any time. Foot connects with I follow. Here's Kempin stepping up. He has Kopitar at the front. Redirect point blank save by Mike Smith. And there's a player in the Edmonton net that pushes the net. Second play in a row where Kempin makes the pass to Kopitar. First one was back and that one's sauce on the forehand. Mm. And you can see Mike Smith holding his ground there. Goaltenders will stay deep when they anticipate a cross pass. And look at the skates of Mike Smith. They're both on the goal line because he cannot 
come out and face the potential shooter. This is a giveaway. Nice stick by Ayafalo to cause the turnover. Kopitar for Doughty. Kempe out wide. Final minute of the period. Kopitar to the front. Didn't get it all the way through. Loose puck side of the net. If you do challenge and you lose, the third best power play in the league gets another whack at things. So the Kings decide not to challenge. I think that was the right decision. 1-1 one, one after two. It's a battle in the Pacific. And then we see the first pass, but then do you see a second pass connect? Very difficult to happen right now. Ryan evades the check from Jersey. Puck out in front. They score. Ryan Nugent Hopkins. Off a breakdown. And a turnover. But watch what happens. Regroup. Simple tip. Get it in. Put some pressure on the D. And then all of a sudden you have bodies going to the net. Behind to the front. Now you do have a skate in front of the net again. Is there enough contact there? Not enough again. It's more contact with the Kings defender than it is the attacker. And the containing the Kings. Keeping things on the outside. And good possession by the Kings. Arvidsson off the bench. Spun to the middle by Kalia. Kings keep the zone. Centering pass to now scores! Arvidsson with a sweet pass to Philip Deneau. And the game is tied. That's the second shift in a row. The Kings able to sustain pressure. Deneau's involved with his line mates. 24, watch him, middle of the slot. Turn, face, shoot. This line talks about yelling and communicating and asking. You see that look over the shoulder by Arvidsson? He knew before he went behind where Deneau was going to be. And I can't say enough about the attack triangle, the spacing of the Kings forward. Now the Oilers set up their forecheck. Nurse, a shot broken stick from Ayafalo. Nurse gets it back, shoots wide of the net. Recovered by Barry at the right point. Centering pass, they score! Dreisaitl beating Yamamoto at the front of the net. And with 4.46 to go, the Oilers take the lead. But in doing so, Ayafalo broke a stick. Behind, to the front, through the pads. And Yamamoto finds himself in a position wide open now again. Kopitar to Kempe, goal line to now! Save on the mask of Smith! Kempe jamming for the puck. Loose at the side of the net. And referees will not blow it dead. Down he had in front. Had an opportunity. Chopped away. Hyman hustling to the empty net. They don't put it in. And this is a team building situation for the Oilers. Cece sticks with it. And Lazat loses out. Cece takes a peek at the empty net. He'll pass it across, and Evander Kane will put it away. So with 17.9, it'll be 5-2, which will not be indicative. As the bench boss for the Oilers, and Edmonton will head into third place in the Pacific Division. With a 5-2 victory over the LA Kings, Mike Smith picks up the victory.